Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we will continue to learn the program Plastic 2D version 2020. Our lesson today is to study the calculator floating on the sand layer. So to open the program we double click on the icon and wait a minute. And this we click on the start a new project. In the title we put the title of the lesson, lesson 1B. The company name, you just put the company name, for example, here, G A S E. Okay, and we will go to the model tab. In the model tab, we just keep everything default. We just change the X bus by 5, and the, e, the Y mask is 4, and click OK. Now we will in the, the motor and we will create the borehole by click on this you move to the euro euro and click now we on we are on the modified soil layer and we click add and we will click on the plus side to add a new soil so our soil here is sand layer we will change the name to sand we keep it default change it tip default everything default and in the in here we input 17 20 and in parameter tab we will put for the elastic modulus is 13 k3 the portion ratio 0 0.3 the cohesive effective cohesive 1 the effective friction angle 30 and click OK the sand our sand top level at 4 and the bottom level at 0 and the head level we will put 2 you can see here and click OK. We we'll zoom in to see our soil here. So that is for the soil. We will we'll move to the structure top. In the structure top, we will create create the plate. At one four one four. One is the dam the sorry one is the the radius radius of the footing. This is the calculator footing and the radius is one meter. So at one four we click to mo to model the footing. This is our footing here. And we will move to the show material to create a new material for flat. We click new. In identification, we will tap the name of the plate, the name of the footing. And we will tap footing. We keep it. It is elastic. Keep it default. Elastic. And we will input the properties. Here, yeah, EA. EA is the ACO stiffness of the plate and it is 5E6 for the EY, EY is the bending stiffness of the plate so we will put 8.5 E3 and that's it, we will click OK in this window, we will click on the footing and drag it to the plate. You can see here the plate one material footing. The color, the color which we defined here, this is the same. This means that we do it okay, and then click. And the sec, the next step will we will define the the lot. The lot here, the lot create 
lại load at zero four click at one four click and right click to finish and you press the ESC key on your keyboard to exit so now you can see here the load is the loading value is one kilometer it's not right right you can change it now by select it and you edit here minus one eight eight and enter and now we will go to the mesh tab to generate the mesh we click on this to generate and click OK the generation is finished you can view the mesh yeah well done and just click on close to back to our model and now we will move to the flow condition to check the raw water level you can see here the raw water level at 2 meter and it is ok no need to modify we just go to the stage construction and in the state construction you can see the load in the plate is inactivated activated inactivated so I will create a new face face one we will double click on this and change the name of the face by putting and everything else to keep default and click OK and then we will active activate the load and the footing by selected right click on this and activate we will do it again for the plate for the load and activate if we click on this the information will show here if we click on the blank here the information is disappear so we will click, click on again, again on the load to see the information of the load information of the left here we have the tick here the tick here it means that the light load and the black is activated for example I will click on and deactivate and you see disappear and I will do it again when light load deactivate disappear so we can like it activate again and activate again so it's okay and now we will select points for curve here I will put four euro no no euro four select close it and x0 y4 we click on this and you see on this point is selected and also in the model the point is selected so click on the update now we, we can run the project but before we run the project I will show you I will show you the little thing you can see the load and the plate here is in green blue here with color but in the initial phase you see dark color this means that the dark color means that the load and the plate is being activated and in this color it is activated so from now you can understand when the load and the plate or something like that is activated or not by see its color change the color okay now we will click on calculate to run the program the program is 
calculating and we have to wait a little bit now it's finished and we will view the calculation result I click on this you see here the maximum value is 50 mm 50 mm is the displacement the settlement of the footing under the, under the loading the settlement our our footing is a displacement displaced a little bit the total displacement is 50 mm okay You also can see the stress, principal stress here. Or sigma 2 or sigma 3. Or you can see the deformation, the total deformation. You can see 50 mm here. Or you can see the 50 mm here. So now I will show you the new function to create a curve you click on this and click on the new in the axis you choose the not four star and you click on the deformation total displacement and click on this on the y axis you should keep the projection default and the multiplier you click on this and choose the total of the state and then click OK you will have the chart or the graph to this is the relationship between the displacement and the total of the state and just close to come back to if you want to save it just as a yes and if you don't want to save it just uh, press no in this case we will ignore it and we will come back to the model our model here I will click on this to be the calculation result again and on the output program we will see the footing by clicking on this double click and you can see the any moment like just like this or you can see here bending moment you can see the value here the maximum value the minimum value or you can see the shear force diagram and even you can see the dis displacement total displacement in here just like that and that's it for today lesson thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the video if you have something to ask please comment in the below of this video and uh, thanks again